Well, Torrance and I moved to Boston in uh, 1993. We were part of that South End gay set. Because back then, it was, the South End was the gay place. We found out, as everyone did, that, that uh, uh, Vermont passed this civil union thing. And it was a, a radical moment in gay history that you could actually go to a state and get a document that legally recognized you as a couple. And Vermont was an easy drive from Massachusetts. So a lot of the South End boys were getting in their cars and going up to Vermont to get civil unions. And we thought, well, we could do that. We'd been together then at that point, you know, quite a while, seven years maybe, something like that, eight years. It turns out there was a little cottage industry up there in Montpelier, Vermont, which is, you know, a town this big, but it's a state capital. Um, and you could, the, there were gay guest houses up there. So we booked a gay guest house and we found out you could actually show up in the city hall of Montpelier on a Saturday morning and get your civil union. So we show up and it's a, it's a lovely experience. You know, Vermont, you know, at that time of the year, I think it was the fall. In fact, I know, I think it was October. Uh, leaves are changing. We were up on the hill in the morning looking down at the little gold dome of the state capitol. I mean, it's, the town is so cute. And there was a farmer's market. You were totally into this Vermont thing. And then we realized it was getting on time to get to our appointment at Town Hall. And we get there and the door's locked and along comes this guy and he unlocks the door. And it becomes obvious to us that, look, the, the town's offices are not open on a regular basis on Saturday morning. This guy and the clerk, the two people, showed up specially to unlock town hall and take us down to this room where we got our civil union. When we were given the document, there was you know, a lovely handshake and a, a, a sense of goodwill. These people you know, work, I assume, regular 40-hour week, Monday through Friday, they were taking their time on a Saturday to go down and do this public service on behalf of people like us coming from largely Boston to get our civil unions from out of state because, you know, they knew we could do it on a Saturday. You know, to celebrate, we did get rings, this ring. Uh, we splurged. We went to Newberry Street, you know, the fancy street, shopping street in Boston, to Cartier. And we got these 1960s love rings. This, this ring was designed in the 60s. It's a plastic, it's, it's white gold. And you see those little screws. You can upgrade and have diamonds put in the screws, but we've never done that. We just like it the way it is. Years later, when Massachusetts uh, made it legal to get married, we, uh, we thought of it as just kind of a political act because the initial act <clears throat> of the civil union was too close to the marriage act just a few years later. So we thought it was really just an upgrade, you know, just literally an upgrade from a civil union in Vermont to a marriage in Massachusetts. So we, we, just, we did go to a justice of the peace uh, in Provincetown. So it was just the three of us by a pond. And damned if I didn't cry doing the, <laughs> doing the vows. So I thought to myself, thank God we didn't have a big wedding because I was just bawling. You might ask, well, do you celebrate your civil union or our wedding? And you know, the answer is we celebrate the day we met because you know, that to us was day one. That was the starting point. And the others were just upgrades. <laughs> so why celebrate one of the upgrades? We celebrate day one.